Yes, it's been the eye. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Place channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make a game notification um, when someone joins the game. So basically, just welcome welcome notification, if that makes sense. Uh, if you're new to my channel, feel free to turn on, uh, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me. We're getting close to 100,000, so we're just going to keep going on that grind. But um, yeah, so you're going to go in the description. Now, um, when you head over to the description, there should be a button. Uh, you can just click the link button. All the links are below. You can join Discord if you want as well. You know, up to you. But um, as we go into that, um, basically, you're going to head into Studio. And you're going to grab this model right here. Now, it should just be this welcome notification model. So feel free to grab that. And once you grab the model, you're good to go. And... Um, you're going to go to your toolbox and just insert it right here. Now, you could also just go and insert model up here if you need to. Um, so feel free to insert that, and it should just give you this uh, little model right here. Um, now, this actually wasn't made for, by me. I just tweaked it just a little bit, but it was made by someone in our community. I think it's called Lender Chief. Um, so credits to him. Uh, he just put it in the community dev, so I was like, all right, I'll just make a video on it because might as well, um, and that helps me on my part. But um, thank you again so much. But yeah, so you just drag these out right here super simple to do you could also just drag the models up to you but this is how it should look for you replicated storage server script service and then starter gy um we're going to open up both scripts right here very simple scripts okay um we have the yeah replicate storage starter gy and when we're grabbing the notification by doing replicate storage wait for child notification and then on client event this is where we're going to be sending it from the script to the local client um we are going to send a notification saying data.title, data.text, data.icon, and data.duration. So that talks about um, how long it's going to be on the screen, what icon is in an image, data.text, and data.title. So going into the server script, very simple. When a player gets added, we wait two seconds. Now you could just change this if you'd like to like a certain amount of time. It just basically shows how fast it should pop up on the screen. So if you have a loading screen or something, you know, maybe make it even longer you know you could actually really try and figure out how to do that you don't even need to do a wait you could also like go through another event function and there's a lot of ways you can do things um but yeah local success thumbnails we're gonna do a p call function to just get the player's thumbnail uh, by this we're doing the player user id and then we're doing a headshot so the headshot i'll show you in a sec what it looks like is what we just grab of the player as you know what we would use um, and then there's a certain size of course then we have a title uh it's like sup twin place whatever exclamation point and then welcome to now you can mess around with this you could say you know uh hello twin place you can just type in right here you go hello space blah blah, blah exclamation point welcome to and this is doing game.name or you can just do you know um welcome to the game uh welcome to the game maybe like that um and then if success so if this does get the player user's thumbnail then we are going to send a client uh, thing about 10 seconds. We're going to do the title text thumbnail. Um, if it doesn't go through, we're going to do blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to do uh, this little ID right here. I actually don't know what that means, but probably a certain ID. So just in case, if it doesn't go through and it doesn't get the player's thumbnail, it's going to send it as something else, but just like probably a welcome thumbnail asset. I don't really know. Yeah, so honestly, if you just hit play right here, it should just show you what it looks like. So boom, right there. Hello, Twin Plays Dev. Welcome to the game. And then it should disappear if I'm right. So it's on for 10 seconds. So let's just wait and see. Um, yeah, you kind of kind of get the point right there. Yeah, so then it disappears. Um, so yeah, it's, it's nothing like too crazy. Um, it's a very, very simple script. Now, I recommend utilizing this if you have certain things, you know. So what's really good about this, um, you know, finding the client, their title and the text and all that stuff is that, so this is send notification, by the way. This is already integrated into Roblox. Um, what's really good about this is you can actually use like various things. So, you know, if you have someone purchase something or something doesn't go through or, you know, you want to like do a certain event or something, you, you can utilize that to like send something on the screen to a player. And I, I really recommend it because it kind of just adds some taste to your game. But I mean, yeah, you guys, you guys kind of get the point of, uh, you know, what I'm saying. But yeah, so that's about it, you guys. Nothing too crazy, nothing too hard. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, little little tiny tutorial. Um, and yeah, I will uh, catch you guys in the um, in the next video. Have a good one. Bye bye.